When you think of wonder materials for bike frames, you typically think of carbon fiber or titanium, aluminium, magnesium maybe, but they're all expensive and they're resource heavy. So a drain on your wallet and a drain on the environment. But what if I told you that you could actually grow your own bike frame? Yes, bamboo, grass on steroids. Well, not literally, it is just a grass. One of the fastest growing plants on the planet, apparently, and one that's been used as a construction material for millennia. But bikes? Well, if you've seen the GCM Plus film on bamboo bikes, you will know all about it. If you've not seen it, you really should. But to find out a little bit more now, to find out why your next bike should perhaps be a bamboo bike, we've come to meet the presenter of that film, Emily Chappell, former winner of the Transcontinental, and as you might be able to guess, the person who built this very frame. Before you meet Emily though, and before I reunite her with her bike, point number one is that bamboo is relatively inexpensive as a frame material. Not quite as cheap as it could be, given that you can theoretically grow the tubes in your own garden, or well, if you do decide to do that, be warned, bamboo can be rampant. So choose which of the 1,000 plus species that you do plant wisely. Anyway, you're not going to do that. So the reality is that bamboo is slightly more expensive than a cheap steel or aluminium frame, maybe a few hundred euros or pounds, but it's also the cheapest and easiest way of getting a custom bike frame. Why? Because you can build it yourself. Emily, that is a cracking looking bike, no pun intended. How do you go about making a bamboo bike? It was surprisingly easy, actually. I hadn't built a bike before and I didn't really know very much about, you know, how to design a frame or weld or anything like that. But um, we worked with the Bamboo Bicycle Club and they will either send you a kit to build at home or you go into their workshop. Most of what you're doing, once you've got all the sort of the angles right, um, is sanding and finishing. Um, and it's almost like doing a kid's craft project. You sort of, you tape it all together with hemp and glue and it sticks. And then overnight it hardens and you've magically got these perfect looking joints that you then sand down and paint and make them look all good. And, and then suddenly you look at it and you think, my goodness, it's a bicycle and I built it. That's amazing. So how long did it take? This took a couple of days and I think if you took longer, it would be even better. It's one of those things where you can whack it together quite quickly. But if you put the work in to get the finish right, it really pays and you will, you will enjoy it more in future. As you can see, I borrowed Emily's bike to go for a little ride on. It's no test ride, I'm wearing trainers and the bike's a bit small for me, but I can definitely get a sense of what it's like to ride. It's relatively flexy under what sort of limited power I can put out. The head tube feels a little bit flexy, but it's a bit of a cliche. It's so comfortable to ride, it's, it's really quiet. It's a little bit like the wooden bike that I rode earlier this year. There's a definite sense of its vibration damping qualities. I will say though, that even at these low speeds, this is no aero bike. Those little bumps for a start, gonna be adding all sorts of watts to my drag coefficient. But I am genuinely, quite surprised but then maybe I shouldn't be it's the original carbon fiber isn't it literally carbon fibers bound together by resin but I'd be interested to know exactly how good it really is so performance Emily you actually had this tested in a lab didn't you for the GCM plus film so how good is bamboo as a frame material surprisingly good I honestly thought it was going to be a bit of a novelty item, like, you know, you can build a bike out of cardboard, but would you actually want to ride it? But we tested it in the lab against all the usual suspects, against carbon, steel, and bamboo is as strong as or stronger than any other material you might want to build a bike out of. There is absolutely no reason why you wouldn't want to build a bike out of this and ride it forever. So who did the tests? There's a team at Oxford Brookes University who have done research into things like this and they've, um, I think they've done quite a lot of research into bamboo as 
a frame building material. And so they've got the lab and they've got all the you know, heavy duty equipment. Um, and yeah, they, they have certified it as definitely cool to build bikes with. So you found out how exactly how good it is compared to carbon fibre? Yeah, and in terms of strength, performance and reliability, I think I'm actually happier now to ride on this than I am on my carbon bikes. One thing you won't get with this is those sudden hairline cracks where the frame suddenly shears apart. If this is going to break, which is very unlikely, it's going to splinter dramatically and you'll notice it happen. And you'll probably have had to crash it quite hard for that to happen. So I feel safer on this than I do on my carbon bikes. And so, so the, it's the safety side of things, it's, it's bomb proof, but what about the characteristics like ride quality, weight, dare I ask? Um, weight, oh, I can't remember. We did weigh this. It came in at, I think it was seven something and you could get the weight down. So, I mean, this has quite a few grams of paint on it because I was very thorough there. You could sand a lot more off the joints. Um, it's not going to be as light as the very lightest carbon bikes, but you could get this lighter than a steel frame. and. I would race on this. And then in terms of how it rides, honestly, I think it is fractionally better than my carbon bike. So what I look for in a bike, because I do long, long distance stuff, often on quite gnarly roads, is for it to be, you know, fast, responsive, you can really put the power down, you can go for it on the hills, but also comfortable um, and absorbing vibrations and very compliant because I want to be on it for a long time and I want to do multi-day things where I'm going to be recovering the following day and I don't want to be sore. And this is lovely. It's really, really comfortable to ride and noticeably absorbs all the, the road buzz in a way that some of my carbon bikes have not. So you came into this GCM Plus project not really knowing much about bamboo bikes, right? And so now at the end of it all, what, what do you like the most about it? Well, I love riding it. I love loads of things about it. I think it does appeal to the hippie in me because it's completely unique. There's no other bike like it. And it has a backstory because it used to be a plant growing out of the ground. You know, it's, it's felt the rain, it's felt the sun, it's felt the wind. And now I get to ride around on it. So it's, it feels, you know, I'm slightly more connected to nature. But also it's a great way of making friends. You know, you sit outside a coffee shop with this, someone's gonna come and talk to you within five minutes and ask you all about it. And that's, that's always fun. So if, if you're an antisocial person, don't make yourself a bamboo bike. Oh God, no, 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 no. You'll never get rid of people. Everybody wants to know about your bamboo bike. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, and importantly, there's the sustainability side. Now, not all bamboo is environmentally friendly, but a lot of it is, and it's not hard to source bamboo there is. So what it means is that your already pretty ecologically sound bike becomes even more so. Now, we'll be clear, if you buy a bike from any frame material, if you use it enough, it becomes a sustainable, environmentally friendly purchase. But if you're looking at buying a second bike or a third bike, maybe bamboo is the material for you. If you crack it, as Emily said, you can fill it with resin and it retains its structural integrity. So it should last a long, long time. And if it does eventually give out, I mean, I guess you could just stick it on your compost heap. Imagine that fertilizing your garden with your old bike frame. You can't say that about your specialized, can you? You know, honestly, I wasn't entirely sure what to expect today when I was coming to see Emily's bike, but seeing it in reality, it's incredible. My favorite bits on it are these, like the kind of bobbly bits, whatever they are in plant language, but it's really cool. And I didn't think I'd say this, but I really want one now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna build my own bamboo bike, an adult BMX. <laughs> yeah, you heard it here first. Just give me a decade and I'll get around to it. But um, that is cool. Emily, thanks so much for, well, for letting me ride your bike uh, for a start, but also uh, telling us a little bit about bamboo, I guess, to find out more, of course, you've got to watch the, uh, the GCM Plus film. Yeah, it's a cracking watch. So, uh, so yeah, thanks, Emily. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. <laughs>